Quite a few exciting things happened in May. My dear friend and neighbour Peter set up his own garden maintenance company. Here you can see him jet washing my aunt's front garden. I made a little video for him and uploaded it to Facebook and a few of my friends decided to try him out. He's doing really well and he's getting some really good feedback from people, not just my friends too, but locals that have decided to give him a try. I'm so proud of him and pleased that things are going so well. Something else that was quite exciting was I was asked to be the light and sound operator for the Alexander Player's latest production, I Am A Camera, by John Van Druten. Run VT. So today we have the Alexandra Players tech rehearsal for their next production, I Am A Camera, uh, which opens on Wednesday. Um, I'm a little bit nervous because it's the first time I've ever been responsible for lighting and sound. Um, I've always normally been on stage or making something like props for on stage, so yes, I'm a little bit nervous, but we should be okay. I know what I'm doing, I know I can do it, it's going to be fine. we're setting up the desk for the tech rehearsal. Despite setting up the headset which links to whoever is backstage, it caused a little interference with the speakers, so we decided to go extra techy and use our mobile phones to send text messages to hear each other instead. Thankfully it worked, even if they weren't very serious or all that professional. With the help of David, our group's technical lighting and sound wizard, we drew up a lighting plan for the production. David very kindly came along to a few of the rehearsals to teach me how to operate the lighting board. I wrote down so many notes though, it took me a day to go through them all and draw up a typed list that was clear enough for me to see in the dark. It was quite a simple lighting plan in comparison to some productions we've worked on this past year, but for someone like me who had never done anything like this before it was quite a challenge. When you're acting on stage, we always have someone in the wings that's waiting there, ready to prompt us if we blank out. But there's no one to prompt you when you're at the back of the hall doing lights and sound. It's quite scary. Once the tech was over, we wandered along to a local restaurant that we've never been to before, as we all decided we'd quite like to try a curry this time. We had a really nice time and the restaurant did extremely well in looking after 13 very hungry amateur actors and stage crew. Monday was a bank holiday, so I met a friend for coffee in Greenwich. A huge cruise liner, the Seaborne Ovation, was berthed at the Greenwich ship tier, and as always, the old Royal Naval College looked spectacular. Saturday we were all back at the hall to entertain the locals for four nights. The show went so well, it was fabulous sitting there, seeing the cast have a whale of a time on stage each night. Very few prompts were needed and the audience really loved it. I'm pleased to say the lighting went well too. Mark, the director, really liked the presents that we all chipped in to buy him. And we all got some lovely feedback too. <laughs> Thank you. We don't get cars. Name your job, I'll do it. Bless you. Thank you very much. Welcome. <laughs> all in all, May was quite wonderful. Let's see what June brings us. Do subscribe and join us again for more adventures in June. Thanks for watching.